I was worried the whole time I was dating Nola. That's normal, I think, for a new relationship, but I'd only had one girlfriend before her, and she had made it no secret that I was a lousy boyfriend. I mean, it was my first relationship, like, give me a fucking break. But, you know, she, she made sure I knew. So I was 22 years old, struggling between trying to be a mature, responsible, significant other, and just enjoying being a kid in college. Because that's what you are, you're a kid. You don't want to change yourself, you want to do what you want to do. You want to have some fucking fun. Mind you, I wasn't partying like a frat boy or anything. My idea of fun was painting models and playing video games. And, uh, remains so. But you get the idea. It was becoming ever clearer to me that I was lame. It's totally fucking boring. Updating a webcomic was more important to me than homework. Uh, of course, you know, I, I thought comics... Like, that was like, it was like a kind of homework for me. Having a cup of Earl Grey tea and watching Cowboy Bebop for the 15th time that week, uh, that was more important than going to the illustration third year's house party and socializing. Now by this point I was definitely leaning towards the more structured art styles. I was big on uh, like buildings, machinery, architecture shit like that. Loved it. The really dry stuff no one else wants to touch. It's generally seen by illustrators being w worse. Just, you know, it's less creative. They don't really regard it as being good illustration. A lot of them. But I, I loved it. Although I still envied the fun art of my classmates. It was very open and free and full of energy, and I wanted to make some of that for myself. I thought, I'm gonna make a conscious effort to be more laissez-faire, more cool, have a relaxed art style. I can't do the same things forever, right? Nola doesn't want to date some fucking geek who's just like playing Warhammer and making floor plans for a living, right? No, probably not. So we were both busy with school and there was not a lot to do in towns. So, you know, most of the time we were out of the house, it's just like walking the dog ferrying my sister to and from her classes, as per my routine. Like, what a big fucking yawn that is. So we got this project about juxtaposition, which is something artists absolutely obsess over. And we had to use road signs to illustrate a story, or something like that, which is a decent enough experiment, or maybe I just picked road signs. It was, I don't know. I, I mean, that was, that's what was on my final. I remember that. So it was that sort of thing. So I thought, because I'm so fucking clever with my little art brain, can I give the illusion of being a cool, laid-back artist, having a really awesome juxtaposition in my piece? So I used my watercolors, which was, to me, the very opposite of a road sign, right? Those are very structured and iconic, and watercolors just fucking all over the place with, like, gradients and washes and full of little imperfections and whatever. In my head, the juxtaposition of the two was going to look just great. But I was terrible with paint, watercolor especially. I wanted the end result to look good, but messy, so I did a shitty job. <laughs> like, just, oh, yeah, whatever, it's going to look so relaxed and cool, and that'll be the opposite of a road sign. Whatever. It's not the worst idea I've had, but it's far from the best. The next day, we're all handing our shit in, and I'm explaining why I did the bad thing that I did. And the teacher is like, okay, I get what you were going for. Not terrible, but this looks not good. All right, he said, there is a world of difference between carefree and careless. And I knew he was absolutely correct. Like that just summed up the whole fucking thing. Because the truth of the matter is this, not giving a shit is easy, but everything you do is gonna suck. Appearing to not care is incredibly difficult if you also want to maintain any semblance of quality. That's what people are talking about when they say someone's really awesome at something and they're like, oh, they make it look easy. Yeah, because it's fucking not. If you have the talent to accomplish something well and look chill, you're busting your ass over it. And of course, hers was like some fucking amazing thing. It looked like it took her five minutes. Like, oh, what this? I just did it over breakfast. But like, that's the point, right? She worked hard, probably all fucking night. I wanted that and it was escaping me. Everything about my art and my life was so structured, and when I tried to deviate from it, I fucked it up. I had been largely shy my entire life, and I was getting fucking sick of it. You can't force change all at once. It takes work, and patience, and attention to nuance, and that goes for everything. People are like, oh, people don't change. People never change. That's bullshit. You can change yourself as a person, but you can't force yourself to change. That sounds contradictory, but it's the difference between careless and carefree. It's the difference between, I try not to concern myself too much with what others think of me, and, whatever man, I don't give a fuck what others think. The message is seemingly similar, but vastly, profoundly different. A difference you need 
to figure out or you're going to start losing things.